Hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 trig, uh, trig 2 review. This is question 2C. Um, in this question we're going to prove this identity and I'm going to try to model a procedure for you that I think will work better than just immediately assuming that you're going to write everything in terms of sine and cosine. Okay. Now in this particular question uh, you're not going to see much of a difference anyway because everything is almost entirely written in terms of sine and cosine anyway except for that two cos, uh, cosecant theta on the right hand side there but you know what we're not even worried about that uh, because I'm going to focus my attention on the more difficult side and that is clearly the left hand side in this question okay now do I see any Pythagorean identities no nada but is there any obvious algebra that I can do and the answer is yes there are two factors here or sorry two fractions I should say but on the right hand side there's only the one term here. I need these two terms to become one term. So I need common denominators and in this particular case that is going to be just the product of the two of them. So sine of theta times 1 minus the cosine of theta. Up here that is going to get me 1 minus cos theta times 1 minus cos theta and then plus sine theta times sine theta. Now I'm, I'm going to do this 1 minus cos theta immediately. It would have been brilliant had this been 1 plus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta because then then I would get that difference of squares, that binomial conjugate and, and then the middle term would cancel. But that's not what this is. This is 1 minus cosine squared so my result will be 1 minus 2 cosine theta plus cosine squared theta okay and then a plus sine squared theta okay when I multiply that sign and this sign together to to get the common denominators now I feel somewhat obliged to go through and explain where that two cosine theta came from because odds are pretty good not everyone's gonna see that it's one minus cos theta times one minus cosine theta 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times negative cos is negative cos theta, negative cosine theta times 1 is negative co whoops, sorry, negative cos theta, and then negative cos times negative cos is positive cosine squared of theta. Those do not cancel, they double up. Okay, don't forget to, to foil this out. Now, what we got here uh, do I see any Pythagorean identities now? And yes, I do. Cosine squared plus sine squared is just 1. So now I've got 1 minus 2 cosine theta plus 1 all over sine theta 1 minus cosine theta, okay, which is just going to be 2 minus 2 cosine theta all over sine theta 1 minus cosine theta. Now I'm running out of room here so I'm just going to do this pretty quickly here. Notice that what I can do here is I can factor out the 2 so this will become 2 1 minus cosine theta over sine theta 1 minus cosine theta. The 1 minus cosine theta is cancel and then maybe what I'll do is over here I'll rewrite this right hand side uh, as 2 over sine theta and now you see that the left the left hand side okay the 2 over sine theta is equal to the right hand side 2 over sine theta. I just didn't give myself enough room to to do that. Whoops, sorry. 